In this video, we show you the different speeds on the Framework SD expansion module with UHS-1 and 2 cards. Let's jump in. Welcome to the JSCAR Hawk channel. I just picked up my SD card module from the Framework folks, and I'm excited to start testing this out compared to other SD card readers. The other ones that I've had for a long time, including some other SD cards that I have laying around, and I picked up brand new UHS-2 cards, both from Sabrent and from SanDisk. I'm using an older and a newer reader just to do comparisons between the UHS-1 and 2 differences. So the biggest one right off the bat is that if you go through and flip over the regular SD cards, you're going to have the typical pins here on the back that you've seen for a long time. But when you change over to the UHS-2 cards, this is an older reader that's just SD card and our marking on our framework expansion card also says SD but doesn't say anything about UH-1 or UH-2. But Let's go ahead and grab this other package, which is also a SAN disk. It specifically calls out UHS-2 device. So then when you look at the SD cards that are also UHS-2, you can see they actually have additional contacts here on the back. So this is supposed to be able to help with greater data speed. So we'll test a couple of these different cards on both or all three of these the Anchor, the SanDisk, and the one from Framework. So I'm using my Framework 16 as my testing platform today. Going through, I did a larger test that took like 45 minutes with a whole bunch of these, and I have cut it down specifically to this video to show you the most important ones, which is the UHS-1 and UHS-2. So the idea behind this is we're gonna take the same SD card and we're going to test it on the Anchor 3.0 USB here. Then we're going to go through and then plug it in from the USB here, moving it to the SD card native reader and then to the USB-C using the SanDisk reader and then do comparisons between each one of these. So we're going to start off with this ImageMate 128 gigabyte UHS-1 that's supposed to be 140 megabyte per second speed. So we plug that into the anchor device and then we're gonna switch over to our screen with OBS screen capturing. Gonna select the device here and then going to go up to the top corner, benchmark disc and start the benchmark. And instead of having you sit here and watch the entire thing, I am gonna go through and check this box for performing right benchmark and start the benchmark. I cut the video to make sure we can actually save you some time and to show you the results here. So here's the results for 85 on the read, 47 on the right, and access is 0.20 m seconds for 100 samples. So with this, we can go through and close this out and go to our next test, which is moving that same SD card now to the native framework reader. And once we plug this in, we can go through and test this. Again, this is the regular SD card or the UHS-1. We go check it, check it again. Benchmark test, start benchmark. Same checking of the right benchmark. And again, we're gonna cut the video to the end. From here, we've got 153.7 for the read, 48 for the right, and access is 0.33 m seconds. So let's close it. We're gonna now plug it into the micro SD card or the micro USB or USB C reader. That's also supposed to be the UHS2 reader. Now this goes 40 or 97 for the read, 47 for the write, and 0.31 for the access time. It's actually slower, which is interesting. So we unplug just the standard U. HS1. This one is the fastest that I've got in hand now at this point, which is the UHS2. Plug it into the anchor and we go do the same exact steps again. Benchmarking, we hit that start benchmark to the right benchmark. 
and for the read speed we're at 91 write speed we're at 87 access time is 0.57 unplug it move it to the framework native reader we're going to do the exact same step again back to the laptop screen benchmark start the benchmark check that and i'm going to actually leave it watch the entire time instead of cutting through because this was so very fast. 100 samples done in a matter of seconds. So the end results are 249 for the read, 105 for the write, and access is 0.38. Pretty dang impressive. Let's move that same one over to the UHS-2 reader from SanDisk. Back to the laptop again and benchmark the disc and i thought maybe this is just because it's in a different spot no this is a 243 on the read 105 on the right and access time is 0.39 m seconds so with that the conclusion to all of these and the summary would be these i've done a screenshot with the image mate this exact same one here are the screenshots for each the framework is actually faster same with the Sabrent, framework is actually faster, just by a little bit, but bang for buck, I think it's the better way to go. I hope you like, subscribe, if there's something else you want me to test, let me know, and we'll see you online and next time.